Hello, this is our calm exhibition in the Barn Gallery at Mid Wales Arts. And today we're very, very lucky. Um, one of the artists, Sue Hailey Harris, is coming to talk about her work. My, my work in this exhibition is actually to do with um, time I spent in the local woods near Brecon, Priory Groves. Uh, some of it, quite a lot of it actually done in the groves. Uh, in the winter, I particularly like the winter because of the starkness of the trees. And you can see uh, here, a couple of them here, done in January and February. So very much in the winter. This, I think there's probably a bit of snow around. Um, others have more colour as the year went on. But they are a bit similar. I always sat in the same place. There was something about that place that I liked. Uh, and there was, um, in the distance, you could see tree lines on the hill um, and a valley down below, and some of the, the drawings you can see that. And I liked the fact that I could go back day after day and the atmosphere would be different, and I wanted to catch some of that sort of emotional response to the trees. Then back in my studio, I'm actually a weaver, so I was very interested in translating some of that into weaving. So we have the the woven trees here, which are woven on my loom, um, and then what I call constructed, actually sewn together, and dipped in a mixture of, um, no, let me see, it was wallpaper paste and, no it wasn't, it was casein earth pigment. And it just enabled me to make the sort of the pieces around the edge stick out. Now I'm Australian and doing these reminded me of driving through areas that have been through bushfires in Australia. Um, the trees in the Priory Groves are actually mostly beech trees so very fairly tall and straight. Um, so then I went on to doing them once framed pieces of the same branches. So this is the first branch done in a similar way to the free hanging pieces. And this is another one, a forked branch. Rather challenging to do, and people say, how do I do them? But when I look back, I have to try and work it out again. I never quite remember. I always think I'll remember, but I don't. I have to do those calculations again. Um, I've also been weaving with silver wire, mostly, and I did two that are in this exhibition, two, two things, cubes, which I'm really, fascinated by cubes and these have twigs that have been, two of them have twigs that I have actually cast in silver. Now they are sterling silver but they've been oxidised so it gives it that sort of grey almost black colour uh, which I like but I wanted to sort of make the twig into something very precious by en encasing it and putting it in that. And I also made a series of twig brooches you might be able to see the one that I'm wearing, which is the first one I did. Um, a, a sort of an experimental one. But I've been very fond of it and worn it a lot. Maybe better on a plain colour. colour but. And these, so they're, they relate to the, to the other work. So I wanted it to be a sort of a cohesive section of work. Now I also have one other series of work to go with this that I did back in the studio. So I don't know if we can go around to see. That. So these are collages, so they're very sort of, um, they take longer to do than they might think. Um, these particularly to do with the trees, those ones not so much to do with the trees, but also collage. I collage them onto a plain linen, I guess, again, I think this idea of being very interested in textiles. Um, and the material that I use for the collage is paper, sort of quite a heavy, almost a watercolour paper, or an oil paper, oil paint paper, that I've painted with um, indigo or earth, or sometimes peat, that I've mixed with an oil binding medium and torn the strips. So they take quite a lot of work, I leave them in my, sitting in my studio and move them around to get exactly what I want. So much more sort of considered pieces than the very quick sketches that I do in the woods. Um, 
thank, thank you very much thank, thank you very you. much for talking about your artwork that you have with us in the calm exhibition until the 30th of october thank you Errol.